Lake Baikal of Russia from Nature Diaries. Although practically all of Earth's human population lives on dry land, our surface is 71% covered by water. Of that water, almost all of it is in the oceans, with just 2.5% of it in the form of fresh water. The majority of our fresh water is either frozen or in the ground. Most of Earth's fresh water is in glaciers, ice caps, and permafrost, and water and ice beneath the surface. Most of the rest is in the large reservoirs of liquid water on our land masses, Earth's lakes. All told, Freshwater lakes make up just 0.007% of the total amount of water on Earth, but comprise the majority of liquid freshwater on our surface. Most of Earth's lakes are relatively young, less than 18,000 years old and formed during the end of the last ice age. Only 20 lakes, worldwide, are ancient, more than 1 million years old. Earth's lakes are the primary location where liquid, surface freshwater is held, but most of them were formed by the retreat of glaciers. The majority of Earth's freshwater is frozen, in the forms of glaciers and ice caps, and this becomes much more severe during ice ages, where the polar caps grow large and extend down to equatorial latitudes. When the ice ages end, much of the frozen water melts, leading to glaciers carving out paths and causing erosion, with glacial melts and subsequent rainfall and seasonal changes leading to the formation of lakes and rivers, and subsequent drainage patterns leading to additional lake formation. However, the fresh, free surface water overwhelmingly exists in lakes, with one lake responsible for over 20% of our fresh surface water. Lake Baikal is not only Earth's oldest lake, at 25 to 30 million years of age, but it's also the largest by freshwater volumes. Not every lake has a river or stream to flow into it, and not every lake was formed as a result of glacial or interglacial cycles and transitions. When a divergent plate boundary begins to spread, a feature known as a rift valley can begin to form. Initially, two parallel cliffs form, but sediment and other material later fills it. In a rare instance, over time, the forces of erosion will deepen. This rift valley, creating an enormous and deep pit, which can lead to the formation of a deep lake that can persist for millions of years. The ancient lakes found on Earth are all found in active rift zones as a consequence of plate tectonics. At least 25 million years old, Lake Baikal is the oldest lake in the world. The lake and the surrounding mountains were formed by the Earth's crust fracturing and moving. It was probably originally a riverbed, but tremors and fractures in the Earth's crust increased the size and widened the space between the shores. Melting glaciers also increased the water levels. Lake Baikal is in a rift valley. And up to 2,000 earthquake tremors are detected each year. The earthquakes deepen the lake and increase its size continuously. Lake Baikal is located in south-central Russia near the Mongolian border. Lake Baikal has historically played a large role in the Russian imagination. It represents the unspoiled beauty of Russia and is sometimes referred to as the Sacred Sea. 
Lake Baikal plays a central part in many local creation myths and appears throughout Russian folklore. Though it is in southern Siberia, the lands around Lake Baikal are generally warmer than the rest of the area because large bodies of water have a moderating force. There are 27, mostly uninhabited islands in Lake Baikal, the largest is 45 mile long Okhan, on which there are villages and about 1,500 people live there. Lake Baikal is the seventh largest lake in the world by surface area, but holds more fresh water than any other lake by quite a wide margin. Found in southern Siberia, it has little over 31,000 square kilometers or 12,000 square miles of surface area. However, the regions on either side of Lake Baikal are at an extremely high altitudes, with many locations exceeding 2,000 meters or nearly 7,000 feet in elevation. It's located at exactly a divergent plate boundary, having spread apart so significantly over time that the lake is up to 79 kilometers or 49 miles wide, 397 miles or 640 kilometers long having coastline length of 1,300 miles or 2,100 kilometers, and has three separate basins to it. The deepest one is the central basin which goes down to a depth of 1,642 meters or 5,387 feet, making it the deepest lake in the world. Lake Baikal which holds more fresh water than any other lake on Earth, is responsible for a whopping 22% of it, over 23,000 cubic kilometers or 5,600 cubic miles worth. The Earth under Lake Baikal is heated. The cause of the heat is unknown. Lake Baikal is considered one of the clearest lakes in the world. During the summer, when the lake is full of melted ice from the Siberian mountains, it is sometimes possible to see more than 130 feet or 39 meter down. The stunning clarity is the result of the melted ice's purity, plankton that eat floating debris and a lack of mineral salts in the lake. Lake Baikal may be warmer than other parts of Siberia, but in the winter it still gets very cold. The average air temperature in winter is minus 21 degrees Celsius. Despite its size, Lake Baikal freezes over in the winter and usually melts in May or June. The ice can be up to 6 feet thick. In the summer, the average air temperature is 11 degrees Celsius. The water temperature in August is around 10 degrees Celsius. The bottom of the lake is more than a full kilometer below sea level, but the rift valley that created it goes far deeper. According to research, there are approximately an additional 7,000 meters or 23,000 feet of sediment that have fallen into the rift valley over time, placing the rift floor an incredible 8 to 11 kilometers beneath the surface. This makes the geological rift that's home to Lake Baikal, is the deepest continental rift on planet Earth. This continental rift is both young and active. With every year that goes by, the rift widens by approximately 2 cm or 0.8 inches. There are more than 300 rivers that feed into Lake Baikal, but only one the Angara River, that drains it. The age, isolation, and deep oxygenated water of Lake Baikal have resulted in one of the world's richest freshwater ecosystems. 
About 80% of more than 3,700 species found at Lake Baikal are endemic, meaning they are found nowhere else on Earth. Probably the most famous of these species is the Nerpa, the world's only exclusively freshwater seal. Other endemic species include the oily, scaleless Golomyanx of fish and the Amal, a white fish that is one of Lake Baikal's most famous dishes. Other land-based species around Lake Baikal include bears, reindeer, elk, wild boar, Siberian roe deer, polecats, ermine, sable, and wolves. Aquatic invertebrate species include more than 100 species of flatworms, more than 700 species of anthropods and more than 170 species of mollusks. These invertebrates all help purify the water. There are dozens of tree species, including cedar, fir, and spruce, growing in the Lake Baikal area. Some of the trees are up to 800 years old. The Angara pine tree is native to the area. Yet perhaps what's most remarkable about Lake Baikal is the view it gives us into how Earth evolves with time. The geological processes at work here are the same ones that causes the ancient supercontinent of Pangaea to break up, and resulted in the formations of Earth's oceans. Perhaps, hundreds of millions of years from now, the rift valley that is now home to Lake Baikal will become a saline body connected to our oceans. It is, by many measures, the greatest lake on our entire planet. Thanks for watching friends, and see you in the next video.